welcome back to my channel today is vlogmas day seven so today i'm gonna be showing you guys what i keep in my diaper bag for my two kids the diaper bag that i use is from skip hop and it consists of many pockets it holds a lot of stuff but my goal for two kids with a diaper bag is to keep the bag as light as possible so almost anything that any and everything that i put in here are travel size items so the first pocket i just keep mainly my personal stuff so i have a extra mask a pen because you know i always need a pen even at like doctor's appointments and different things when i'm signing papers a lotion which is lotion travel size hand sanitizer because you know we always need that and also Tylenol. So these are all travel size items. And my lip balm, that's it. In the second pocket, which is a very tiny pocket right here, I only keep my son's mask. My toddler, he's two years old, so he wears a mask. And I always also keep one extra one now onto a bigger pocket in this pocket um let's see in this pocket i only have a snack for him for my toddler not my newborn because i do have a two month a three month old sorry and a two year old into the bigger pocket the first thing that i have travel size wipes Again, I when I first had my toddler, when he was a baby, I used to carry the bigger size wipes. My diaper bag was way too heavy. So now I learned my lesson and I keep a travel size wipe. Next, I have a Ziploc bag with change of clothing for them both. The only reason I put it in a bag is because if anything spills, then the change of clothes won't like get wet or, or get wet or ruin so now that it's winter time i keep long sleeves for them both and pants but the only thing extra i have a onesie for my newborn just because you know i want to keep him warm always so i just make sure to always have a onesie to put and like under his shirt now i have a bib it's the bigger size bib this is how it looks like then i have a blanket again it's cold now or even if it wasn't cold i would always keep a blanket in the bag then i have a hat for my newborn and sorry in this pocket where next to the wipes i have this ointment this one is actually from the hospital it's just a vaseline for diaper changes again i don't keep like the jar of a and d or desitine or anything like that i rather the travel size it again the bag stays very light with less things in there also in this pocket i keep a formula dispenser so I just measure, right now my son is taking four ounces. So when I'm home, I just make sure to measure three bottles because there's three different sections in here. And if I were to use it outside, whenever I do come home and remember to fill it back up, I would just fill everything to always make sure that I have formula for on the go. In this pocket, there's pockets to the sides, like right here. And also another one, this one is empty. But in this one, I just keep my newborn's bottle. And towards the back of the bag, we have two netted sections. So one section is for my toddler where I keep his diapers. And the other section is for my newborn diapers. Onto the back, I do have a 
breastfeed and cover up so this area this this part just goes around my neck to make sure that i'm covered in public when breastfeeding so this i replaced it um i replaced the changing pad with this it's a very thick material it's just that this is wider it opens wider than the changing pad so i have a few of them i just switch it up when it gets dirty oh and also i always keep a plastic bag i mentioned this in my previous video that i did that i did um like about a year ago when i first had my son so I always keep a extra bag just in case of anything like let's say I change the baby and there's no di there's no place to dispose of the diaper I would just put it in this bag and throw it out when I get home or if there's if I come across another bin onto the side pockets So in here I always keep my toddler's water bottle Sometimes we, we may be outside and he wants water or juice or something. And then I would just put it in here. And on the side, there's another pocket. Okay. So in here, I have a just water. This water was... I think I made my son a bottle with this water. We were outside and this is what happens. I forgot the thermos because normally I do have a thermos where I keep hot water in. And then I have, I showed it also in the previous diaper bag video that I made. So I will link the, I will put the link to that video in the description box. But again, I forgot the hot water. So I had to use a bottle of water that I bought. So before we move on to this video, I went to go grab the thermos that I use. It's a pretty scratched up bottle because I had it since my toddler was born. It keeps the water really hot and it would basically be in this pocket where the water was. I would always keep it in here. And what I do is, again, this is hot water. So I just take regular water and I just mix it with the hot water and make formula. So moving on again this is what the diaper bag looks like it has many pockets this is another empty pocket for extra room but i don't have i don't normally keep anything here actually i never use this section of the bag and again i keep everything travel size this is a lifesaver for me so again the wipes travel size the diaper rash um ointment what else the hand lotion and hand sanitizer anything that i could find in the travel size i would definitely get it in that size and keep it in the bag but other than that this is basically what my diaper bag for two kids look like again it's a skip hop my other type of bag that I had for in my other video is also from Skip Hop. They make really good bags with a lot of space. But this is the end of my video, guys. Please like this video, comment, share, ask any questions that you want to, anything that you want to know, and follow me on Instagram. You know, follow me, ask me anything. Again, smash the subscribe button and I will see you guys again tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. Wow, the time is going by. Anyway, bye guys. See you again in my next video.